hi it's Sarah here from crafting and stamping and I'm back with another quick card now for my quick card today I'm using the fresh as a daisy DSP but I'm combining it with one of our last year's set of ink colors and this is starry sky and part of the reason for this is because I'm featuring the ink color um, dots let me check what they're called I think they're called dots. So these are the the in colour pearls, um, the 2022 to 2024 in colour pearls, and these are my pick of the week this week. And I wanted to show a few different ways to use these. Now we don't really have any DSP at the moment that is in this set of in colours. So I decided to pair this up with our Fresh as a Daisy, which is the new ink colours. This year's the 2023 to 2025 ink colours. Uh, and what I've done is with this um, DSP, the 12 by 12 DSP, I cut it to three and seven eighths, which is my usual card front width across. And what I did was cut three and seven eighths inch square from the bottom so this can go on a square card and then I cut this to five and a half so I've got an extra piece here that I can use for um, another card for punching out of or anything like that and this then gives me my card front so I hope that kind of makes sense it was like I say a 12 by 12 sheet and I've just cut, if you like, the centre segment for my card front. But I wanted to make sure that I'd got a useful piece here. So rather than just cutting anywhere, I cut a square so that I could make a small square card. And like I say, that one is really just a bit extra, but I can use it for punching. Um, and then I've got my card front here. And the thing is that that gives me sufficient of the flowers to use um, without sort of losing some empty space, some negative space that I can use. So this negative space here is going to be for my sentiment. And this I'm going to actually punch. This is Starry Sky again. And I'm going to punch this um, with the Dragonfly, Dragonfly duo. So I'm going to pop this in here. Um, I usually punch from the back, but this is quite a heavy punch. It takes a bit of welly to use. So I'm going to turn it over and hope that I've got that centred up because this card is only just wide enough. If not, I've got one that I prepared earlier. So there we are that is spot on so and i'm going to use this on the card front so that's going to go there and i'm going to keep that for my insert i'm actually going to stick that on the insert um just made life easier in terms of the punching so i'm bringing in the Gone Fishing stamp set for my sentiment. It's got a happy retirement sentiment that I wanted to use. So we'll just stamp this. And because it's photopolymer, I'm using a mat behind. And we'll just stamp this, try and get that straight. I've picked up a bit of extra ink there but you can see that's fine so we'll just move these to one side now and there we go and what I'm going to do in actual fact I am going to bend these leaves I'm actually just going to use my thumbnail to do this you can use a score tool but really just using a thumbnail works fine so i'm going to adhere this 
to the card front. So like I say, this is five and a half by three and seven eighths. And that goes on our A6 card front like that. And then I'll adhere the sentiment. And this is, what did I cut it to? It's two and one eighth by one and one eighth. But it's basically sized for that sentiment. And then the mat is two and three eighths by one and three eighths. So just cut quarter of an inch bigger all around. There we are. And I'm going to pop these this up on dimensionals. And I can find my dimensionals. Yeah. And I kind of want this in place so that I can see where my dragonfly wants to go. I want it in a bit of negative space. So I'm not covering up too much of the flowers. And then that shows that I can pop that about there. And I'm going to pop it sort of over to one side and I'm getting the margins of the DSP about even side and top. So now I'm just going to use a bit of multi-purpose liquid glue to stick my dragonfly down. And I'm just putting it along the body because I want these wings to have a little bit of lift and dimension. And then to finish, we're using these pearls, the in colour pearls. And I am, let's see, I am going to use this starry sky. Try and get that off there. Um, but I, to be honest, I think you could go with the uh, Orchid Oasis ones um, just as easily. So, so I'm popping one there. And then I'm going to run these pearls down his body, his hair, whichever it is. So we're going to put a whole row of pearls. You could space these out a little bit if you want to be economical with the, the pearls. But they're not but this is just a half a pack that I've got here and they're six seventy five so they will go a fair way. Uh, of course it's very easy I think my fingers keep coming off so <laughs> uh there we go that's the last one so there is my card and We've got those wings providing a little bit of movement. And that is our quick card for today. Like I say, that is going to go on my insert um, when I put a sentiment on, on there. But there's our quick card for today. Please do subscribe to my channel below to see a quick card every Monday, a quick tip every Friday. And please do hit the uh, the like button if you enjoyed this project. Thanks very much.